Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 501. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 494 to 501. We have a great video here about time format and time calculations. Now, I've done lots of individual little piece of videos on uh, time, but this is a bunch of them all in one. Uh, time. Time is a decimal between 0 and 1. No matter if you type the type in 8 a.m. or uh, take a number and format it, that is what is in the cell. Uh, let's go ahead and think about that. What does a decimal represent? Well, if you worked 8 hours equals 8 hours out of a 24-hour day, we'll say divide by 24, what decimal is that? 0.33. If you have worked exactly 12 hours and you compare that with division to 24, you get 0.5. That is what time is. And we'll look at the formatting. Everyone gets confused with the formatting. I'll come down here. I'm going to type a time in 8 colon 8 colon 00, zero space AM, right? Control enter. I see that in the cell. That's what I typed in. And that, in fact, is up in the formula bar. So what are you talking about? There's no decimal there. Well, that's formatting. Control 1, come up uh, to time, um, I got a t custom format there. Let's just go to time, right? There's the regular time format, right? But let's just wipe that away and click general. There it is. So if I wipe away all the format cells, num time number formatting, that's what's in the cell. Now get that. I'm going to control Z. We type that in just like that. We think we see it everywhere, but don't forget, underneath, this is just formatting. Underneath is that decimal. Now, let's just go ahead and prove this to ourselves. Here's the numbers. I'm going to highlight those, hold Control and highlight these two. And now I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control 1. We're going to see that numbers typed into the cell first and then formatted as time will give us the, the actual uh, time. And look at that. 0, of course, is uh, 12 AM. But what's this over here? What number was that that we put in our cell? I'm going to Control Z, Control Z. Oh, look at that, 0, 1, and 2. All of those numbers right there, when I Control Y to reapply the format, ah, Excel only looks at the decimal part. So control Z, remember this part right here, 1.5. When you format it as time, it's only looking at that 0.5, control Y to redo. So um, here's that uh, 0.5 right there, that 1.5. We got uh, 12 PM exactly noon. All right, so numbers in the cells. We see that when we apply the formatting, sure enough, the time shows up. And we also see that uh, when you have 1.5, the uh, time format only looks at the decimal part. Now, let's see how to enter time. Enter time. We just saw a moment ago how to enter a time like this and then um, uh, get rid of the time formatting by applying general. And we saw the decimal. We can enter time this way. But what if you have hours, minutes, and seconds? Here's the convention. And there's kind of two conventions. 11 colon 23 colon 33, right? These are the hours. These are the minutes. These are the seconds. You have to enter it in with a colon in between, no spaces. Then if you want AM or PM, which you have to put in. If you don't put it in, it's always AM, space. And then either AM or PM. If you type a little PM, it'll automatically go up to capitals. Now watch this, military time, 23 colon 11 colon 23. So 23rd hour, 11 minutes, 23 seconds. Uh, and I'm thinking that that's going to be um, uh, the PM time. I'm going to Control Enter. We see this formatting here on the surface, but look what actually got put in the cell. So even with military time, uh, we, we see that convention of hours, colon, hour, uh, minutes, colon, seconds, space, and then either a AM or a PM. Now, um, let's go ahead and type this right here, 8 colon 0, 0 space PM, all right? Let's go apply some formatting to this, because it's all just formatting. That number is still, that decimal is still there, Control-1. Let's go ahead up to time. Let's try uh, this one right here, the military time right there. But see, sure enough, still up there, we see that um, convention, Control-1. Uh, I'll select this one right here, click OK. 
See, I, even though I typed in the 8 colon 0, 0, I format it, and now I have a bunch of extra zeros uh, showing. So time format is on the surface. It's not what's really in the cell. And why does this matter? If I control, if I get rid of the um, formatting by applying general, why does it matter? Because that's the number that's used in calculations. Now, we've looked at numbers formatting. Let's go look at some calculations. All right, now uh, here's a day shift. And since these are decimals underneath, the way you calculate time worked is always equals the later time minus the earlier time. So early, later minus earlier. Control Enter. But wait a second. I thought we just got done saying that that was going to be a decimal. This formula sucked the formatting there. So to see the actual proportion of one 24-hour day that you work, Control 1 and go back to general. Very helpful when you're learning how to do time. Now, how do you get actual hours? If that's the proportion of one 24-hour day, it's the proportion of one 24-hour day times 24. And that's how you should be doing um, you know, payroll calculations and things like that. Now, what about night shift? Um, let me just copy this formula down. Those are relative cell references. Remember, it's always the later time uh, minus the earlier time. Now. Let me control Z and build it, because this is the way most people do. They'll say equals this minus this. I'm doing it this way because I want to suck the format here and see what happens. This is in the morning. This is in the uh, night. Remember, time. This is a smaller decimal because it's less. It's n not as far through the 24-hour day as a PM number is. So when you do it this way and build your formula, it sucks the formatting and time formatting when sh when a negative number is showing always is going to give you the pound sign. Day, uh, time is negative, uh, not allowed. So if you apply your uh, general format, control shift tilde is actually the way to apply a keyboard shortcut general formatting. There it is, not allowed in time. So how in the world do you do a night shift? Well, I have a great video over here, Excel Magic Trick 268, that explains this bizarre uh, method of doing a night shift. Equals the mod function, and then you do your calculation, uh, whatever the out time is minus the earlier time, that's the number, and then you divide it by 1 totally bizarre and there's lots of formulas out there that can do uh, this formula will do night shift day shift whatever uh, but there it is that one will work and it will uh, I'm going to control shift tilde and that is the actual num percentage of a 24 hour day that you work nine so six hours plus three hours nine divided by 24 is 0.375 please go watch that video over there because I explain in, in great detail how how this works, the algorithm of how this works. Now it's simple. We could say simply say this times our 24. Now the interesting thing about this mod, of course, is it works on day or night. You see that? Now most people, you know, don't have to do uh, night shift and are almost, you know, mostly dealing with this. So this idea of later time minus earlier time works. If not, then use the mod. Now, what about rounding? Sometimes you need to round to the five minutes. Here it should be one hour, not one hour and a few minutes. So I'm going to show you two ways to do this. Equals, and we're going to use the round function. I have a video that shows you all the details of this trick also. But rounding, we're going to take the later time minus the earlier time. And actually, we're going to have to put that in parentheses. Now, what can we do? We could divide this by five minutes. And we'll, the five minute form we're going to take is in quotes, 0, 0, colon, 0, 05, end double quote. Now, that's really text, but anytime you have a number and do a calculation with text, it converts it to um, a number, all right? That's the number, and we want to round this numbers, number to, in essence, if it's exactly five minutes, this will be an integer. But if it's not, if there's a little fraction left over, then we want to get rid of it. And how do we do that? When we use round, the number of digits to round to you, round to the uh, integer, which is a 0 there. 12, what does that mean? That's the number of five-minute chunks that we worked. There are 12 five-minute chunks that we work. So what do we do? We have to then 
multiply this times uh, the fraction of uh, f that was the decimal that's represented by five minutes. How are we going to do that? We're going to do this text thing again. Zero zero colon zero five and a quote. So times that five minutes. And we get exactly the decimal that if we multiply this times 24 will give us our 1. Now there's another way to do this if you have the m round, the m round function, m round. You simply take your calculation, this minus this, and the multiple is going to be our 5 minutes, 0, 0, colon, 0, 5. And that will go ahead and uh, you don't have to use the round where you divide by and then multiply. And then you can use your same formula here. So that's when you have a time situation where you actually have to round to some. And whatever it is, you're rounding to the 15 minutes or whatever. Another time problem occurs when you add. Now notice we have all these times. And these are all entered in. And you see they're all AM. But we're thinking of them just as 8 and a half hours, 9 hours, 8 hours. How in the world do we add these? Well, let's use the auto sum. Alt equals, and then Control Enter. 430? What in the world is that? That's not what I want. I'm going to show you two ways to add. This way will just is for display. And we want to display this as all of the hours. So we can use custom number formatting. Control 1. Come down here. I have applied hour colon minute. And I'm simply going to put a square bracket around the hours here. And that will tell, with formatting, please show me all of the hours there. So it gets us 5230, right? But what if you want to do it in a calculation and you, you're like total hours times uh, some wage or something like that? We can just use auto sum, alt equals, not correct. And I'm going to get rid of the formatting with Control Shift tilde. That applies general formatting. And then F2 times 24. So that's because adding can add up all of these numbers in here, just as we saw up here when we had 1.5, right? There's still the 1.5 under there if I get rid of all that formatting. But when we apply the, the so the number's still under there. And that's what we're doing here. The number's still there. And that gives us all of the 20. In essence, there's two 24 hours and then this proportion of one 24 hour day. So when we multiply it by 24, we, we get our, if I did that formula right. Yeah, that's right. But it has the wrong formatting. Control Shift tilde. We get 52.5 because this is uh, a decimal, whereas up here we see a half hour represented as 0.33, half an hour here is. Uh, a half of 100%, uh, which is 0.5. All right, there are a bunch of time tricks. We'll see you next video.